Uh, joining us now, Michael Walsh, former Green Beret and member of the Space Committee. Congressman, I'm horrified by what I'm seeing. Should I be? Yeah, look, I mean, okay, more, more diversity in, in space and our astronauts, great. What we need to be focused on is getting more Americans into space because right now the Chinese are passing us. They are kicking our butts uh, uh, up there, and it's, it's a real problem. Brian, more launches, more Chinese launches in space last year than the rest of the world combined, including the United States. As you said, just put... Uh, their own astronauts in their own space station, which is brand new and being built. Ours is 30 years old uh, and decrepit. China and Russia have an agreement to put a manned space station on the moon by the end of the decade. They just, uh, the Chinese just sent a, 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 a lunar lander and collected moon rocks because they plan to mine the moon for rare earth minerals. We haven't done that since uh, the 1970s. And oh, by the way, they're on Mars uh, too. And what is the Biden administration's response? They just cut the program that would get us to the moon by 2024 by 75%. Vice President Harris announced that she was gonna continue the National Space Council. She has yet to schedule a meeting. I, you know, Maybe she'll get to that uh, after she gets to the border and after she gets to Europe, I don't know. But meanwhile, they're busily making these videos uh, and worried about what color our astronauts are. I just want them to be American and have that American flag and not a Chinese flag because our entire modern economy is dependent on what's up there. And militarily, you can't be number one on earth if you're number two in space. Lastly, uh, another area of expertise, you actually fight wars, and you're concerned like I am about Afghanistan. For the last yeah. 20 years, people have helped us out, and those people, their lives are in jeopardy right now, are those aides to Americans. What's happening to them, and how concerned are you about the way we're pulling out? Brian, they are reaching out to me, uh, and they are desperate, and they're in a panic right now. They're being hunted down by the Taliban, not just them that stood and fought with us, but their families, too, uh, as they slowly take over the country in the wake of, uh, of our withdrawal. Uh, we can't abandon our allies. The Pentagon is ready to get them out, and they are waiting on the word from the White House. He didn't back the evacuation from uh, South Vietnam, and he's doing, Biden's doing nothing about it now. It's shameful. And by the way, we have no bases in the region if we have to go back in after Al Qaeda. And it's not going to be like Iraq, where we were there. We just had to go back. We have to fight our way back. Uh, yeah. And guys like Who you are we going to go back to, to when they're all, and when they're all decimated? Yeah. Con Congressman Michael Waltz, thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Brian.